Hey guys, Hamlet here from Vodia Networks. Today I'm going to show you how to SMS on the Vodia PBX by using bandwidth um, version 2 SMS. So, the first thing we're going to do if you have signed up with uh, bandwidth, uh, you have to create a few things to, to get the ball rolling here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go to accounts and then sub accounts. So let's say here sub accounts you have a new customer you landed um, and you want to create a sub account uh, so keep things separate. So I'm just going to put the customer's information here, street and uh, street number. Okay, and then next I'm going to put the city of the customer and uh, the state and zip code. All right. Next, uh, bandwidth will come up to confirm uh, an address uh, correction, which is okay with me because I'm, this is only a test. Okay, it's only a test. So now we have the sub account done and next we're going to assign a location. Uh, for this, I'm going to choose the uh, new customer I've created and under location setting, I'm also going to choose the new customer uh, location name. I'm going to put the address. 69th Street, Bailey. Okay, description, new customer. Uh, is this the default location for this customer? I'm going to say yes. Um, originating settings for caller ID. I've, I've, again, this is this setting is used for um, inbound, outbound trunking with Vodia. So I'm just going to say uh, on for CNAM. Uh, voice IP address, I'm going to put my PBX, uh, DNS name, and next I'm going to go down where it says SMS setting, you want to switch that to on, and it's enable, down below you want to choose uh, SMS protocol, which is HTTP, is the only setting you have there, and then application will be SMS. Next, you want to create the location. Okay, so now we got the we got the sub account done. We got the location uh, done. The next thing we're going to do is set up the application for SMS. All right. So next thing we're going to do is create a new application for a new customer. Let's keep this thing simple. I'm just going to use the same name of the customer. Uh, application ID. Uh, bandwidth will create this for you. And the callback URL would be the uh, URL of the PBX. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this here and put that there. Make sure you have uh, this at the end of the string when you put your PBX uh, DNS here. So we can uh, send and receive SMS messages. Um, and also set that to HTTP. Next. You want to create the application. Okay, as you can see, it's been successfully created. I have an application ID um, that's been associated to my account. And then for this application, which we're going to use for SMS, we have to associate a location. So I'm going to click on associate a location with this application. And then I'm going to choose my new location that we've created and press continue okay so here we go we have we have a change of association original application SMS is crossed out I'm gonna go continue and I'm gonna see why that is set that way I believe it is set that way is because we don't have a phone number associated so the next the next tag is to get a phone number from bandwidth so for that we're gonna go to search and buy and you want to buy a phone number I'm gonna put uh, an area code from my area then bandwidth will be looking for uh, a number for you I'm gonna choose a number here and then press continue Okay, so now you get a page where you have to associate that phone number to your sub account and location. So I'm going to choose 
Hamlet and then already bandwidth sees the location you're upset for it if you want to set an order description you can say you know new customer customer ID some specific number that you set up for that client and then purchase the number confirm okay so now we have a phone number associated to uh, this sub account okay next what we want to do is go to that number we purchased and we want to make sure that uh, SMS is set up for that account so if I scroll down scroll down I can see SMS is uh, enabled and um, and the location is enabled so I don't have to do anything here everything looks great okay so let's go back to application so we have just created one for our customer which will be using the SMS feature okay so next we're gonna go to the Vodia PBX now to set up the the bandwidth SMS uh, you're gonna have to go under messaging and notification and then we have a slew of providers here I'm gonna choose bandwidth okay user or account number user or account number is found here 400433 I'm gonna plug that in to uh, the Vodia PBX now I need an application token well rather the application ID because it's the nearest so I'm just gonna copy that and put that there so now I have my application ID and next I'm gonna need my application secret and my token for that I'm gonna click on uh, API credentials and I'm just gonna create new ones so I have the API token I'm gonna copy that API token goes here and then the uh, API secret press copy put in the application secret and lastly you're gonna have to put the phone number there so how we're we gonna do that we're just gonna click on number just copy it and then here we're gonna say default a and I for sending SMS rather just go back here just copy it and now the numbers there let me take out let me take these out and the dash and Vodia should be able to save that okay all set now so now that's all saved we go back to bandwidth I think we have set everything up correctly the application is set up and uh, now we can test a, an SMS going to a cell phone so I'm just gonna take this number here go to a particular extension on the multi-tenant PBX I'm gonna go to an extension and then I'm just gonna maybe choose Pamela and I'm gonna um, set her up as the ANI SMS okay that's all set up and next um, I'm gonna send an SMS to a cell phone and uh, the cell phone should be able to send me back an SMS on the user portal for testing purposes I'm gonna click here to switch into user mode again folks I'm in the Vodia PBX it is a multi-tenant and I'm in the administrator mode so I'll be able to log in from here to a uh, user mode so I'm gonna click that okay so here's the user portal for Vodia. Um, we're basically uh, we're gonna enter a phone number here next um, you'll see this little talk uh, bubble button so we're just gonna click on that and then I'm gonna just say um, hi how are you test SMS and then I should be able to receive that text message there it is and I'm gonna say I'm doing fine funny emoji there it is I'm fine doing I'm just gonna send another one that's great 
Here's the message. Talk to you tomorrow. Perfect. So as you can see, you can SMS from the uh, Vodia user portal with bandwidth uh, SMS version 2. Um, this is across the board. You can SMS anybody that has a, a phone. This is great for tire shops. This is great for restaurants uh, who want to uh, send an SMS to their customers uh, when their order is ready or when their, um, when their car is ready to pick up. So it has a lot of valuable um, concessions that you can use uh, bandwidth with and Vodia uh, PBX. So again, this is the user portal. Um, you can send anything here. Um, and then, you know, return the message, la, 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 la. There you go. And um, that's about it. That's how you set up bandwidth with uh, Vodia PBX. Uh, please reference back on the video so you can set up everything correctly. And uh, hope to see you guys again. Please subscribe to uh, the Vodia channel. And um, I'll be coming up with more videos soon. Take care and be safe.